In this video, I'm going to show you how to do integrations by parts. So when you first look at the question, there's no way that you can differentiate this without changing it to partial fractions. So to do a partial fractions, you need to look at the denominator. There are three types of denominator. The first one is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So if you look at this denominator, can this be factorized? Right, it could be factorized if you are familiar with algebra identities. So we have this algebra identities of a squared minus b squared. There you go. It will be a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Well done. So in this case, we have x squared minus, so we are not going to put a 2 here, but instead, we're going to replace it with square root 2. That will be the same as 2, right? But we keep this as a format of a square. So it's a square root 2, set 2 square. So when you change it to set 2 square, you can factorize it in such a way, which is x plus set 2 and also x minus set 2 okay there you go this is how you can change it so we will write the whole thing so before we do the integrations let's change it to uh, partial fractions right okay now that we have changed the denominator, we have factorized it and break it into two brackets. Uh, we have to check whether it is case 1 or case 2. Case 1 is a distinct linear factor, meaning this will be different. Uh, case 2 will be a repeated linear factor, meaning the two brackets is of the same linear factor. In this case, it's different because this is plus and this is minus. So it's a distinct linear factor. We'll go for case 1. So that will be the partial fraction that we are going to form. So we put an unknown, a constant A and also a constant B on top. Now, our task now is to figure out the value of A and of B. Cool. Right. So, the first thing we can do is to multiply x plus z2 and x minus z2 throughout the equation. So, when we multiply x plus 2 and x minus 2 on the left-hand side, uh, these two parts will be cut off. Right. And then when we do this on this part, uh, it will be x minus set 2 here. And this will be cut off as well, right? So what you have left is just x minus set 2. Or you can think about it. Okay, maybe it's not a good idea to think of it as cutting, of it, cutting it off. You can think about it as making as the same denominator. We have a x plus set 2 here and x minus set 2 here. So this is a x plus set 2. In order to make it common as this, you need to multiply a x minus set 2 and you do this on the top. Right? Okay. So you have a x minus set 2 over here and you need to do the same for the numerator. So for this part, yep. To make, in order to make this as a common denominator, we need to multiply x by uh, multiply by x plus set 2 over here. We do the same on the numerator. Alright. Since the denominator are common for all parts, we can just ignore the denominator and we keep the numerator. We have x plus 3 set 2. equal to this on the right hand side okay all right so now uh, we have to find the constant a and b so you can let x to be a certain value so let's get rid of a in order to get rid of a let's make this zero so we put a set two here so that it will be a zero here 
and when you put a set 2 here everything uh, all the value for x will be set 2 right so we let x to be set 2 so when you put a set 2 here set 2 minus set 2 will be 0 0 times a will be still 0 so this whole part will be just 0 it's not significant anymore so when we put a set 2 here, set 2 plus 3 set 2, it will be 4 set 2. This is on the left. On the right, there's no more this part. If we put a set 2 here, set 2 plus set 2, it will be 2 set 2 times B. In order to figure out the value of B, we divide both sides by 2 set 2. There you go b equals to 2 okay now we have to figure out the value of a let x be how do you get rid of b you need to make this as 0 in order to make this bracket to be equal to 0 you need to sub in a negative set 2 here so when you do a negative set 2 here plus set 2 will be 0 times b the, this whole part will be 0 negative set 2 plus 3 set 2 it will be 2 set 2 if we put a negative set 2 here negative set 2 negative set 2 will be negative 2 set 2 times a uh, obviously you know that a is the same as negative 1 okay now that we have the value for a and b okay we can replace it with the value so this is negative 1 and this is 2 okay we have successfully converted these complicated uh, fractions into a simple partial fractions okay so that there's a constant here and constant here when you have a constant here and constant here it is much easier to do integrations okay so just look at this for now and I do a bit of rearrangement so I put this here so that I can put a negative over here okay now we do the integration parts okay let's do integration by parts as well okay we're gonna integrate this whole thing with the limits so dx okay so look look at the first part okay I need to remind you on these integrations okay this will be okay when we integrate this it will be a ln uh, ln function if you still remember this okay, you can have a look on this how it works and things like that okay first we're gonna put this constant here and then we put a one here okay let's integrate this by looking into this okay looking into this huh? okay now that we have uh, x minus set 2 when we integrate it will be ln x minus set 2 with the limit as well minus ln x plus set 2 with the limit as well okay okay you can pause the video and have a uh, refer this as a reference okay okay now i'm going to get rid of this i will continue from here okay let's plug in the value ln 2 sub 2 minus ln sub 2 ln 4 set 2 minus ln 3 set 2 okay uh, I'm going to delete this part I'm going to erase it so that I have more space for working okay so if that is a subtraction in between two lawn you can combine in a single lawn oh oh okay 
press it wrongly. It will be a division, right? Okay, so we combine this into a single lawn as well. Do a bit of simplification. Okay. And then uh, this, we can move it back as the power of, never mind, don't want to confuse you. Okay. So we have 2 ln 2 minus ln 4 over 3. And you know it well that this can be written as the power of the value. So we have ln 4 minus ln 4 over 3. It will be ln 4 divided by 4 over 3. When you do a bit of simple calculations, you will get 3, ln 3. Okay, so that is how you show from the start, from the left hand side, equal to the right hand side. And this is how you do the integration by parts. Thank you.